Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Leadership Summit, University of South Florida. It is a pleasure to be part of this wonderful event. My name is Leonardo. I'm from Brazil. I work for Human University as a, a marketing teacher in Pakistan and ESPN in Brazil. The title of my presentation is Self-Development, Possibilities of Learnings and International Network during COVID-19. Even though this has been a sad moment, we had also opportunity to learn new things, to overcome the barriers. And I'm here to share my experience, what I have learned with you. First, what is self-development? I didn't look for a, a high definition, high profound definition, a very simple definition. Self-development is the act of deciding for yourself how to improve your skills and taking action to do what you decide to do. In simple words, is to be responsible for yourself, is to learn to use the skills and tools that you have available. We have a lot of tools available that we usually do not use to our self-development. And now during this presentation, I want to share my experience with you and maybe to give you some insights, right? Self-development involves how to relearn, yes. Things happen very fast. So we need to readapt ourselves to this new normal life that we are living during this moment. At the same time, we needed to adapt our homes, our rooms, our computers, the technology that we have to overcome these uh, barriers that we are facing. I know that many teachers around the world didn't know how to use Zoom or Google Teams and many other tools. I learned as well. And sometimes I was teaching and oh my goodness, where I click now. So this, this has been a wonderful, a challenging journey during this moment of COVID. So self-development, learning or learning is a journey. Learn how to relearn how to teach online, how to learn, how to share knowledge online, what you can do using your social media, what you can do using the online course that are available for free. So learn how to learn and so to overcome the barriers because we have faced different barriers. Sometimes our students do they turn on their cans. Sometimes we have problem with internet. Sometimes our slides don't work well. So we needed to reinvent ourselves. That's true. Maybe this moment is, is a moment for self-development and same time to inventing, reinventing the way we teach, reinvent the way we learn. Within the way we share our knowledge, the way we interact with others. So we had to adapt our homes into home offices and using the resources that you had at home. Also, we needed to learn on how to balance personal and professional responsibilities. Rooms became offices, clients and children started competing by parents' attention. So not just technological resources, but we needed to develop emotional, uh, emotional abilities to lead with this. Because sometimes you are working and your baby starts crying or your wife or your husband calls for your name. So it, it demands us to be organize, to learn, to be organized. It employs self-development regarding how to organize my time, how to be uh, precise on the time that I have to dedicate to my work, to my family. So we needed 
have to learn how to balance professional and personal life. And it is challenging. It makes part of self-development as well. We need to learn how to use our time more efficiently. This is very important. Large and small business in different parts of the globe started to work with short budgets. Dismissed, unfortunately, dismissed some employees and used different technology to interact with partners and clients. Thanks to the internet and technology at large. It is very interesting because we have used WhatsApp for a long time to talk, to chat, right? And I have seen in Brazil, for example, many small businesses using WhatsApp to interact with their clients, to share promotions, to invite customers to uh, order food, for example. And interesting, what uh, WhatsApp was just a mean to talk to our friends become a mean to uh, interact, to make business, to present product, and many other uh, actions regarding marketing. So we needed to use our creativity. We needed to get new insights and to use the basic research that we had in our hand. And that is interesting because it has worked well. Many small business are working in networking. They are helping each other. A bakery can recommend, for example, another business, a uh, gym, for example, they are establishing partnership. Small business are developing partnerships between or among them to get more customers and to share their experience during this moment, what they are doing to get their customers. That's very interesting. When we don't have resources, I mean financial resources, or sometimes to uh, technology, we have to use our capacity, our creativity. That is the most uh, valuable resource that we have. The world became smaller and the geographical distance is not an issue anymore. The coronavirus pandemic brought sadness to the world, but also opportunities for self-development. It is interesting what happened during this moment. And I wanna share a personal experience. As I told you, I'm from Brazil um, and I usually, during my time at home, I usually speak in Portuguese. My English is not perfect, but I develop much better my English during this moment, during this time of COVID. I was invited to speak in different uh, countries. Uh, it helped me a lot to establish network. This way I got a job in Pakistan and I have made friends and colleagues in different universities, University of South Florida, uh, and many other universities around the world. Uh, that's true that the world becomes smaller, and the internet, internet is essential if you want to, to connect with others around the world, but we need to learn how to use the internet in our favor, right? How do you, how have you used internet to develop your skills because we need to improve some skills right it can be technical skills it can be emotional skills it can be personal skills or professional skills we have different skills that need to be improved and we have many 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 courses many resources available online for free so at the same time we are at home, you don't need to be in traffic, right? You don't waste time in traffic. Of course, it's not good to stay at home to learn to learn more time, but you need to learn how to use this time that you are at home to improve yourself, to interact more with your family, to develop some technique that you don't master to train yourself something, right? We need to use the time intelligently. We need to use the time efficiently. So 
what I have seen is from a market perspective, even though many people have been dismissed, this coronavirus has transformed the market, right? New job opportunities. According to this report provided by McKinsey, the pandemic accelerated existing trends in remote work, e-commerce, and automation, with up to 25% more workers than previously estimated potential needing to switch occupation. You need to reinvent yourself. You need to develop new skills. You need to be responsible. Don't complain about the life. Don't complain. Don't complain about the COVID, right? Work hard, invest time in yourself. Develop new skills. The coronavirus through trains for learning new skills is more than fleeting. Search out those network opportunities that are housing creativity. Conversations with organizers and participants are often the best you will have in head you will have had in a while. Network is less about connecting people and more about connecting ideas. You can use Facebook, many communities within Facebook to share ideas, to establish, to develop new skills, to learn to use a new software and many other uh, skills. Don't underestimate the importance of creativity in business or network, be dynamic and put yourself out there. Move yourself, challenge yourself, face the barriers. No problem if you fail, you can overcome. If you want to be better and better and better, you need to try to try to try. Be stronger day, every day, develop your skills. Professional network, be authentic. That's okay. Nobody knows everything. Nobody is perfect, right? Be authentic. People are craving, are desiring for connection. The pandemic has highlighted a key human need to connect with others. That has translated into great willingness to reach across table, time zones and continent to connect with people that you don't normally converse. Here is an example. I was, I, I, I had known about this wonderful event. I submit my proposal and I'm here talking about if I expect for my perfect English, I will never do that. You need to face your monsters. You do better, I'm sure of that. And also, you can show your abilities. You can be authentic. Show, okay, I'm not perfect, but I want to learn. I'm here, please. Give me an opportunity to challenge myself. And if you don't understand or don't know something, no problem, I don't know this. You can teach me. You can show me how to develop this skill. Professional network does not mean just to know someone that will help you to get a new job. It means that you meet people, you know people that will help you be better day by day. And also, you need to help those people improve their abilities. That is professional network. Professional image. Please take care of pictures you post on your social platform. Remember that once you post a picture, it's not it's not your it's not your anymore. It's public, right? So think ten times before posting a picture. Think if that picture will improve your professional image. If that photo will improve your professional image. Get creative with the experience. Understand the behavior of people, observing what they are posting, what are the topics that they are sharing. When someone posts something, when someone shares something, they are communicating something to you. You need to understand what is going on. 
you need to understand to read the scenario, right? And use photos, uh, texts to improve your professional image. It can be on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and many, many other uh, social medias. It is important to take care of your professional image when you are using the internet. Probably, if you are looking for a job opportunity, a specific company can uh, look up for your professional, for your Facebook or, or your LinkedIn to understand what you have posted. Take care of that. Share expertise. Everybody knows something. Everybody knows something. That's true, right? Don't focus on what you don't know. Focus on what you know and what you can be better. Expand your borders. The beauty of the pandemic, it sounds a little strange, but is the beauty of the pandemic is that networking can now expand outside of your traditional borders. I have talked to people from Philippines or Philippines, India, my brothers and sisters from Pakistan, Turkey, um, America, uh, let me see, a lot of countries. They call me, professor, can you deliver a speech, professor? Do you know about some scholarship in your country? And we share expertise about culture. We talk about religion, how religion impacts our be consum consumer behavior. How our lifestyle affect our hospita hosp hospitality behavior. It's fantastic. People are eager to connect than ever before. I'm loving this moment to connect with other people, to learn from Americans, to learn from Turkish, to learn from uh, Pakistan people. Wonderful people is wonderful. You can learn a lot. You can learn new language. You can learn new techniques. You can share your expertise. You have value. But you need to move yourself. You need to stand up and get there. Don't wait for others to develop your skills, right? You are responsible for yourself. That's true. That is self-development. Other sources to self-development. Oh my goodness, wonderful sources. University of South Florida, Mumma College of Business, offers wonderful course, diversity, equity, inclusion in the workplace certificate for free. There is no excuse. I don't have money to, to apply for a course. If you have a smartphone, if you have a, a internet, you can do many courses online. You can get certificates. You can put your brain to work, right? You are responsible for your self-development and there are a lot of sources for free if you don't have money at this moment. Research Beast is another fantastic channel on YouTube from my friend, Dr. Faisal Alam. Ali. He has done a wonderful job helping researchers but if you are from the market, if you are a manager, if you are a director, you can also learn how to analyze data. Research Beast has helped academia and market goes hand in hand. There are a lot of channels from different topics that you can watch and learn. What and learn developer skills for free. Also, you can use groups within Facebook. There are a lot. You can be a member of a community. You can interact with other people. 
You can ask them for job opportunities, PhD scholarship. You can make friends or even colleagues. You can see here Glow said 2021. You need to use these resources to improve your abilities. It doesn't mean you just need to be a member. No, 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 you need to interact. You need to use this source intelligently in your benefit and in benefit of others. LinkedIn, you need to use LinkedIn intelligently. You can post your achievement. You can share your expertise. You can share something that you learn. You have learned that some university is offering a course you can share the link of its course on LinkedIn. This way you can attract people to you. People, you see that you are a very dedicated person, that you are aware about your self-development. So learn how integrate Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram in your benefit and how this knowledge can help you develop your abilities. Use Instagram also in an intelligent way, posting photos or texts that will attract interests of others. This way you can reinforce your social network. Remember, nobody develops yourself. You develop yourself when you have others helping you. Self-development does mean that you will do it by yourself. It means that you use all resources, all knowledge, all sources available to analyze yourself and to work on what you think is important at the time. That is what I mean when I say self-development. And in a simpler, simpler way, self-development, be creative, be innovative, think out the box, learn from different sources, and observe things from different angles. Believe in yourself. Invest time in yourself. Be responsible for yourself. Enjoy these wonderful courses that has been offered online. Don't be afraid of COVID. In face the barriers of you who overcome the barriers, you will do better. I'm sure of that. Thank you so much for your attention. God bless you.